Voila! In view, a humble vaudevillian veteran, cast vicariously as both victim and villain by the vicissitudes of fate, this visage is no mere veneer of vanity, but is a vestige to the vox populi, now vacant, vanished. However, this valorous visitation of a bygone vexation stands vivified and has vowed to vanquish these venal and ruliant vermin, the vanguarding, the vice, the vouchsafingly violently vicious, and voracious violation of villainship. Hey, how you doing? I'm Everson Bevel. I was born here in Decatur, Georgia. I still now reside here in Decatur, Georgia. I, I work for a government access station. I'm 24 years old. Uh, I love to entertain. Most of my friends tell me that I'm a hero or I'm always trying to save somebody's life. Um, I've never met a stranger. My mom always told me that I lived in this uh, pseudo euphoric world that I just walk around smiling like there's no problem. You know, there's nothing to worry about, but I really don't think there is. I used to be a junk food rat, you know, now I'm a gym rat. I, I get my reps in, you know, I try to stay healthy and try to keep my body healthy. Um, I, I used to be really big, I used to be like 375 pounds when I graduated from high school. I knew that there was a fat organ, you know, in my body, like a little fat monster, I, I called it. And it was sitting on top of my stomach. So my fat monster was hungry. And so just like anything else, you have to kill the host. You know, you got to kill that in order for it to, to die. So I had to kill the fat monster. I, my mama asked me, uh, do you know what, what, what gift you have? You know, I, was, I think I was about 15, 14. She's like, what, what gift did, did God give you? I, I was like, well, love. He gave me the, the power of love. She was like, don't be nasty. I can't believe you. I was like, no, I'm serious. You know, he gave me the power of love. That's it. You know, I'm just here to spread love. And now what's funny is today she believes it. She's like, you know, God just gave you such a beautiful heart, and, you know, you love these people. I can't do it. I want to do, like, a, a health, holistic view show, you know, about investing in yourself. I, I want, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on how to become a better you. Yeah, I want to take my show to the people. I, I want to, you know, it's, it's a show for the people because a lot of people don't, they don't do better because of their lack of exposure. And that's the thing. I want to expose them to that thing. I'm not saying that I'm an expert at, at exercise. I'm not saying I'm an expert at eating healthy. I'm not an expert at any of those things. I'm talking to a guy today who, you know, happens to be an expert at that subject. I'm not going to lie and act like I'm an expert. I may know something about it, and I want to expound on that information. And so by wanting to expound on the information, in turn, we get to expound on the information. We get to know more about that subject, whatever it may be. I'm very passionate about this. I love what I'm doing. I want to bring this information into people's homes. I want to touch people's hearts. I want to change the world, ultimately. And what better place than to do that than on Oprah's Network? So I want to say thank you for this opportunity, and I hope to be seeing you all very soon. Everson Bevel, and I'm out. The only verdict is vengeance, a vendetta held as a votive not in vain, for the value and veracity of such shall one day vindicate the vigilant and the virtuous. Verily, this vicious soise the verbiage veers most verbose, so let me simply add that it is my very good honor to meet you, and you may call me V.